Om friends, welcome to our channel Zazen Tarot Space. In today's reading, we will see what the month June 2023 is bringing for our Scorpio friends. Let us first shuffle and pull out our cards and then we will move to the reading. Our last few cards. So we have our cards ready. So these are your cards, Scorpio. Let us pull out your oracle cards first. Okay. The Venom. Hmm. This is the kind of card that is not so welcome in a reading. I sense a uh, an atmosphere of toxicity around you. You may probably already be having it or in the coming month you will sense a kind of toxicity. Now that toxicity could either be through because of what somebody is saying to you or somebody is doing, creating, or it could generally be uh, a life circumstance which is extremely toxic. Something which has the power to poison you, sting you, words that can sting, or something which you may feel is you know, deeply damaging for you. I know it sounds scary, but uh, when this card comes up, it says you have to identify what is toxic. Is it words? Is it a relationship? Is it something at your workplace? What is it that is creating this poisonous in environment around you and kind of poisoning your psyche, maybe your... Uh, whatever it is that is damaging you, you need to first identify it, acknowledge it, and then remedy it, try and purify, find remedies for it, and above all, forgive, because this card says the moment you forgive, 
you will automatically see that the venom starts to come down. A big role for attracting the venom is played by the inability to forgive the source of venom. And you will be able to forgive with time. Your next card, Armadillo Spirit, set healthy boundaries. You see the connection here. You need to protect yourself against whatever is being spewed on you. You have the right to say, that's it, no more. You need to identify where you end, where others begin. What is yours, what is not yours? Respect yourself. And you can say no to accepting this venom. This is, uh, this is so nice that this card has come up because, okay, the venom is there, but it is your choice. You can say, that's it. I do not accept it. You can set your boundary. So set that healthy boundary for yourself and for the venom and keep it out. Bison B, how can I know myself as absolute? Exactly. So this month is definitely working around teaching you how to just be, exist and allow uh, you know, uh, kind of uh, any negativity that is there, anything that is harming you, you can detach yourself from it and just be yourself. I'm glad to see these two positive cards, uh, you know, flagging this negative card, uh, flanking on each side. So, somewhere... The month says that you have the power to handle this. So after your oracle cards, let us look at your tarot cards, page of swords. Of course, you will be able to come up with these new way of thinking. However, be careful of uh, what people are talking about you and try to stay clear of that because, you know, there could be venom uh, regarding someone maligning your reputation is what I see here. You may be the victim of slander or you may be uh, entangled in a dispute could be maybe even around legal matters the aim here is to stay truthful handle intelligently observe well you know there could be another possibility that i see here that someone may be jealous of you and the problem arises there so guard yourself against all of this. Justice card, fantastic. I see that you will be able to stay balanced. You will be able to find, you know, the, the um, correct solution to the problem here. You will be able to rectify the issue. So there is negativity, strong negativity, but flanked by positive cards somehow I'm... Uh, it's it's enheartening to see positive cards, the lover's card. So you will have choices and options. You will have the choice to say no. You will have the choice to set healthy boundaries. You will have the choice to handle the negativity with love. Also, I see love in your uh, life in this month. I see expression of love. I see support from your loved ones. 
next let us see how you're going to handle this mentally and what kind of a mood you will be in in this month conditioning and beyond illusion and guidance okay so there may be a tendency to follow a restricted thought pattern in dealing with life this month but gradually you will be guided towards being more open being more accepting you'll be gradually guided towards the light and that guidance will come to you intrinsically intuitively so uh, i i see a blend of positive and negative in your moods here now let us look at the three different areas of your life starting with finances knight of wands focus will be on working hard so as to improve your financial inflow you will uh feel passionately about your income this month okay career page of cups you will uh, kind of feel all this kind of love for your career for your work you will thoroughly enjoy your work you can also expect good relationships in your team or in your office place of work also you can expect good feedback for you you know kind of uh, feedback that you are you are a nice soul gentle soul at work you're empathetic uh you trustworthy and you know how to handle people positively so you can expect positive things you can expect to hear positive things in terms of work so that is good uh, some positivity coming in your life in in this month even though balancing out you know uh the negative aspect last card for you scorpio will be love romance and married life and relationships five of wands so yes you can expect some support from your spouse and partner but at the same time it will not be as much support as you're looking for or hoping for she or he may they may kind of choose to uh contradict you at times so you can expect some support and some conflicts So Scorpio that's your reading say stay strong set your boundaries stay powerful i'm sure you'll sail through this and it'll make you a stronger person so all the best scorpios and uh, take care of yourselves have a lovely month ahead oh